Hello, my name is Tina and uh, this is one of, I suppose, last recordings I will do in this course, which was really, really exciting and uh, intriguing. This is the first time I was uh, doing a Moodle course that actually made it more exciting and interesting. And I would say that belongs to the highlight. Uh, and um, I didn't really um, expect anything special. I've been through some online courses before, but uh, this was one very, very intensive. Actually, I prefer this uh, uh, often um, uh, the uh, frequent possibility to to communicate, um, chatting with people, to have these uh, live sessions with uh, Dr. Nelly. Uh, because even though we can find all the resources, all the suggestions and instructions written on the pages of the course, I think that um, despite uh, the fact that we have all uh, got used to online work, uh, this uh, live contact is, uh, actually is additional value. And um, uh, the question is here, what do you hope to do with the, what you learned? To be honest, I had much lower expectations uh, because uh, I simply want to get more information about the model. I uh, believe that in my near future, I would uh, deal with, uh, I would work with some companies who use models, but that was my initial um, reason for joining this uh, session. But actually, a uh, whole new world opened up for me uh, through the session, and I was really pleased to have chosen it. And um, actually, uh, even though I haven't uh, thought of that before, it started um, the idea to perhaps create uh, some serious course of my own. I have been a teacher for a long time. I think I have a lot of experience to share. And also, it... Uh, allowed me to think of possibilities to share my experience for teachers, but also to create courses for my students as well. When it comes to the uh, process uh, of designing uh, a course collaboratively, it was a uh, very good experience, very positive. If I say exciting, I would uh, repeat myself. I have said that several occasions, but the thing is that... Um, the thing is that... Um, mm, it's a uh, really a great pleasure to work with people that you um, ha that you share some uh, principles, you share some ideas, which also have good a uh, lot of experience professionally. Not uh, so much about perhaps Moodle platform, but so much enthusiasm and wish to work and contribute to the mutual uh, uh, goal, and it's really inspiring. Uh, so my experience was extremely positive. And uh, my colleagues, Yvonne and Branka, were very supportive. And I think we managed to create a very good atmosphere. Maybe our course is not as elaborate as uh, the other course about critical thinking, because we decided it's uh, manageable in the amount of time we had. But I think it showed us all the important things, what we have to bear in mind from uh, the steps of the process, like defining the team policy, who has to do what, how we will do it, to uh, ally, to stressing out the most important most important um, uh, elements of a syllabus that have to be created. Of course, depending on the content we want to create, uh, that would mean more uh, more or uh, fewer elements, uh, but still experience of uh, looking for the best possible, best possible, um, how to say, uh, choice of resources, of activities to support, uh, to follow those resources was very, very um, good. And uh, um, on one side, it allowed, the, the concept of the course allows a lot of freedom to participants, but again, you're always sure that you can find the right instruction, the right uh, uh, information on the pages of the course. You can rely to on the possibility to contact Dr. Nelly or perhaps to contact your team members. So all these things uh, contribute to the positive experience of this course. And when it comes to design a course, uh, this collaborative work actually 
made me realize all the things that uh, one has to bear in mind when creating, when thinking of creating a course. Um, as uh, I already mentioned, but just to um, stress again, so the steps in the process was first uh, defining team policy in order to put a structure on our uh, mutual work, then uh, going through in terms of uh, uh, defining the um, means of communication, the frequency of communication, and uh, trying to define uh, possible uh, problems that we might uh, encounter, as well as defining the steps to take them, because in the long run, it would uh, save a lot of time if we had uh, run in some serious problem, which we luckily didn't experience and then uh, after creating uh, the team practice uh, policy we um, we actually went to creating syllabus which meant um, choice of uh, logo as something that would uh, give initial information to the future participants then we defined the topic uh, from there we defined abstract then we also had to define what would be our target audience and um, uh, to define the length of the course, uh, how it will be done in terms of technology, what platform, what additional tools we would uh, be using. Then we started creating the content. Uh, in our case, we decided to uh, for each of us to have one week to deal, or actually one topic to deal with, and we dealt with um, holidays in the USA. Myself uh, and myself actually uh was responsible for the section about independence day and i felt that it would be nice to um provide more information about the historical uh, facts uh, regarding that uh, holiday um i think i found some interesting uh, resources videos on youtube um, uh, some sources from the library of congress from uh, history channel and uh, also created two quizzes to follow some activities. Mm, I suppose there is always possible to uh, to make something better. So since this is the first uh, attempt, I believe it was uh, okay. And, um, and then uh, I also added uh, as a last chapter the feedback uh, area. So that would allow that would allow our participants, if we had some, if we had any to share their impressions and uh, perhaps uh, through the feedback we could uh, learn what should be changed adapted make better and um, so i think that they covered practically everything so this is definitely some uh, a session to recommend to uh, to other colleagues and friends and uh, even though I, we were all English teachers in my group, uh, so perhaps our ideas were uh, developed from that point of view. But I think that Moodle platform really allows a lot of lot of uh, possibilities to different content. So that would be all for now. Dr. Nelly, thank you one more time for your support and time. And it was really a pleasure being part of this course.